Now at 11, more relief for the hurricane ravaged Bahamas coming in the form of drinking water. Yeah, we're not talking about bottled water, rather something much different. CBS 4's Hank Tester explains. A critical need for the Bahamas, water. Hurricane Dorian destroyed water infrastructure and worse, polluted wells with saltwater incursion. What is needed is water in volume for hospitals. A few days ago, this scene, this barge heading out of Port Everglades, a project of the nonprofit Mission Resolve. We brought one of our barges over with accommodations and water making devices on, on that vessel. A closer look at the barge from the air, three water making reverse osmosis setups that can produce 10,000 gallons of water a day. The water will be distributed uh, for the most part in, in tanks. It'll be uh, in, in lorries, trucks. You know, that's really the best way to do it. And, and that's, you know, 10,000 gallons is not a lot of water, but it's a lot of if you don't have any. The barge and its water making units, an example of non government help that's pouring into the Bahamas. Many groups involved. Bahamas Relief Crews and Mission Resolve, working together with the, uh, with the cruise ship. The barge is now at Freeport, just about set to produce. We haven't started distribution. We're all set up. We just want to do it properly. You know, you got to rush in there, make sure it's all properly delivered, the, the, the uh, tanks that it's got to be delivered to be at the hospital. The barge, tugs that are donated, water for Freeport, hospitals and clinics about to happen. Hank Tester, CBS4 News tonight.